It's day 230 and it's time to meet another one of my friends. So without further ado, please welcome to the screen fitness coach, performer and LGMC's rear of the year 2011. It's Stephen White. Hello. Hello, hello lovely. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Now tell everybody at home what LGMC is in case they don't know. Oh, the, the LGMC is the biggest boy band in Europe. It's the London Gay Men's Chorus. It is the biggest boy band in Europe. You're right. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, are they yeah. behind you? Um, they are. Uh, there's a select few behind me. And um, that was us singing at Chesil Rocks, which is a little festival down on the south coast. And um, we're meant to be doing it this year. But um, well, I wasn't because I've, I've left now. But um, yeah, because of Corona, unfortunately, we couldn't do it. But it would have been this time last year we, we, um, we were there. And I drunkenly bought it in an auction. But um, it's a nice <laughs> memento of my time in the chorus. Um, yes. So you left because you moved to Sweden. But what <laughs> happened to your bum uh, in 2012? Did it all go horribly wrong? Oh, yeah. It, yeah, 2012. After we of the year, there's nowhere to go but down inside. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> and really, with a, with a rear of the year, you wanted to stay up. You really wanted to stay up, but you know, Paulus, it's so hard <laughs> as you get older. But that's one of the things, you know, I've gone into fitness training as well, that, you know, um, yeah, that's so, which helps, you know, a lot of really thrusts. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Stephen White, I've got three questions for you. Are you ready for your first? I am ready. Uh, Stephen White, what is your recollection of our first meeting? Go! Oh, my recollection of our first meeting was with the LGMC. Um, we were at Winchester University one summer doing a retreat. I think it must be about 2011 when we yeah. did it. Um, and I think I spent the whole afternoon singing empty chairs at empty tables at you. And I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> Having to put up with that. Um, bless you. But um, I think we, we, we kind of hit it off. And I remember walking to the station with you. And we started talking oh, yes. about fitness and training. And then um, I think I started doing some personal training with you. You um, did, it was yeah. great. It got you in the gym and got you doing some things. It was great. Um, you were the first person that's ever done something like that with me because I'm appalling at all things sporty and fitness. Uh, and you know that because you've seen me in a gym. But you are the first and only person that's just sort of made it fun and uh, and I didn't have to I didn't have to have a personality transplant to 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 do it. It was okay to still be me. Oh, <laughs> but be me and be fit. And that's really awesome. Oh, great. No, I'm so pleased. And then everything kind of went blank for a few months. And next thing you know, I was on stage in the Fatsy Barge in a pair of Kylie's hot pants with some bunny ears. We should probably explain why I'm wearing these. So no, I let's think... not. Let's <laughs> not tell <laughs> It was Alice in Poundland and you were the white rabbit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was a little gym bunny, the white rabbit. That was amazing. So yeah, when she went down the cable. I did I did awesome. say to you when I when I asked you to do the job, I'm only asking you because I want you to wear hot pants and nothing else. I, I hope I made it very clear. Oh absolutely. <laughs> and I'm so shy and retiring, you know, really pulling yeah. out my shell. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, your second question, Stephen, is uh, how are you keeping creative at the moment? Well, um, I guess at the moment I'm, I'm kind of launching my um, fitness business online. And so it's called the, the Gay Body Coach. So I'm creating a lot of content around that. So, you know, it's content, 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 videos, stuff like this stuff. It's, um, Tell me it's about that. But um, I'm also, um, I'm, I'm missing singing a lot. So uh, I, <laughs> I joke with my friends at the LGMC that I've gone solo. Kind of a joke. Um, so I'm putting together a little little show that I'd like to maybe do here in Sweden at some point, um, like at Christmas or something, because I love singing Christmas songs and it'd be a perfect thing to do. So kind of putting all that together. So still staying creative as much as possible. Is there is there a Swedish gay men's chorus or? Uh, I've not found one yet. There is one in Copenhagen, but we can't get there because of Corona. But we might be able to get there. Um, after Saturday, but we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. I love Copenhagen. Right it's now. really nice. Oh, I love Copenhagen too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know I went to Copenhagen on holiday uh, uh, about three years ago. Mm. I got a really nice. There's a really nice amber shop near the harbour. I got a nice mm. green amber ring. Um, and but we only. What, that's not. The, we went partly because we really loved the film, uh, the TV show, The Bridge, on BBC. Oh my God, me uh, too. Four. Yeah. And um, so we were like, oh, my God, we're crossing the bridge. We're going to go into Sweden. And we did. And, but we got on the train. So yeah. the bridge was above us and we didn't see it the oh, whole yeah, time. It was so like, true. Oh, the yeah. bridge. I've only come for the bridge. We've done <laughs> it wrong. 
but, but I love the bridge so much too that I'm really worried that's why I moved here. So I'm in Malmo, so I'm in the place where um, Saga lived. Saga the Red Malmo can was on the other side. So I've seen her house and everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's so exciting. Please don't get chopped in half. I'm going to try not to. Try yeah. not to. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Your third question, Stephen, is what are you looking forward to doing that you can't do at the moment? Oh, well, I, I, funnily enough, I know obviously in the UK you've had a really, a really much stricter lockdown than we've had in Sweden. So, you know, I got my hair cut especially for today. Um, <laughs> Show you know, off. We can go to the barbers and things. So I feel kind of guilty about that. Um, but obviously, um, and I know people can't, you know, meet people or have human interaction. I mean, I got married uh, about six months ago, so obviously I'm still missing the human touch. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, but seriously, uh, seriously, I'm, I'm kind of missing being back in the UK, just visiting because we weren't meant to be here for this period of time for so long without going back and forward. So, yeah. you know, I'm missing friends and family and stuff, but um, yeah, hopefully that we'll be able to do that soon. Hopefully you'll be back to see us really soon. Now, yeah. listen, guys, we are running out of time. So don't forget to press that subscribe button for more like this. And don't forget to check out the Gay Body Coach. Uh, where can we find you, Stephen? Oh, um, you can see me mostly on Instagram at, at Mr. Stephen White. It's I shall write Facebook. it underneath your, your head oh, on this video. <laughs> <laughs> so Stephen sadly will not be with us tomorrow, guys. But I will see you all tomorrow. If we're safe. Ah, Stephen White word, perfect. Lovely to see you. Take Lovely care. Lovely to see you, Paulus. Take care. Bye. Bye.